In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly fill a spin disc for the Waterlink Spin Touch. I have a standard disc here, and I have the 501 series disc here, which is a three time use disc. I'll show you how to fill both of them correctly so you get an accurate reading. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure the syringe has no water in it by pressing down on it like this. You also want to make sure you only handle the disc from the side like this. For this video, I'm going to actually mark the fill line with a sharpie so you can see it. And of course you couldn't do this when using the disc, it'll interfere with the reading. But just for the video I have that marked there so you can see when it reaches the fill line. And the three use disc is a little trickier. I'll show you how to properly fill this. Okay, I'm using food coloring here so you get an idea of exactly how the chamber should be filled. You want to insert the syringe and then pull back fully so that it's totally full of water. So the disc should be on a flat surface like this. You want to go ahead and insert the syringe here. If you have it inserted correctly, it should stand up by itself like this. Go ahead and push down. You're going to see the blue food coloring enter the chamber. Let me turn a little bit so you can see when I get to the fill line. You can see it's getting close to the fill line. It's filling up the chamber. And look at the top here. You'll see the water. And make sure that when it reaches that line, it's on the top part. And it's properly filled. And according to Lamotte, you should have about one centimeter of water left in here if the disc is filled correctly. And here's another disc. I'll show you as it fills the chamber. You can actually see the water filling up the top of the chamber. There it is right there. You see how it got a little bit darker? There's water on the bottom and there's water on the top of the chamber. Again, the water is on the bottom and now it's filling the top. Getting close to the fill line right there. You see it on the bottom. Now as I push down more, it's going to fill to the top, and I'm going to stop right at the line there. That's how you get an accurate reading using the disc. And one thing to note is it's better to overfill the disc than to underfill it. So if you were to stop here before the fill line, you're definitely going to get a false reading. So it's better to go further if you're unsure and pass the fill line. You're still going to get an accurate reading even if you overfill the disc. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to fill the three discs, 501 and 601 series disc. I'm going to go ahead and fill up all three chambers for you so you get an idea of how this will look. I'm going to go ahead and slowly push down here. You can see it's filling up. And at the end there's like a little arrow type triangle chamber. And that's full. You're finished. And I'll do the next chamber a little closer so you can see it filling up. And here's the third chamber. I have all three chambers filled in the three disc set. You can see the distinction of each chamber here. Each one ends with this little arrow type chamber here. If you were to overfill the chamber, this is what it would look like. You'll see the excess water dripping out. So that's a look at filling the spin disc up for the Waterlink Spin Touch. It's a pretty easy process once you practice with some food coloring inside the syringe. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals' trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.